to talk about the big one between the Lions and the Buccaneers. Oh, my goodness, is this a big game here all of a sudden? Wow. The Buccaneers are one of the pleasant surprises right now in the NFL with their three victories so far. They've scored, uh, you know, they're averaging uh, you know, over 20 points per game, 21 points per game or so, and they've been effective, especially on third down. And Baker came out this week because I don't believe it, you know, about uh, his long-term success anywhere. I believe that Baker, like I said, look, he's the guy when the Rams last year needed a quarterback on two days' notice, get Baker Mayfield. I mean, he will do it, right? The one thing that he did say, and they're saying the right things in Tampa, maybe this is a spot for Baker. And when you see Baker out there, it looks like the, it looks like the spot for Mayfield. In fact, uh, you know, Tom, they went to the bowl and all that, but over the last, you know, season or two when Tom was kind of flailing there a little bit after that bowl, um, you know, there were some certainly some frustrating times on offense with the Buccaneers, right? Tom would be on the sidelines breaking surface tablets. and But in here, this should be a, a, you know, pretty good game. I mean, Lions, of course, are the darlings of the league at this point. Maybe not getting the respect they deserve to be the, you know, in the top tier with those other teams. But that's because the ascent to the top has been so rapid. And they have such a complete package over there. Yeah, oh, Ferner, I'm not sure about that. I think I think yeah, I'm not saying you're right or wrong, but, but you know, Baker pretty much has his relationship out there and everything. He's he's this is this is a serious deal for Baker. And uh, look, he started 75 games as an NFL quarterback. We're not getting into some type of you know these rookies or anything. He's been on the field plenty, uh, 35 and 40. Uh, this series has been, you know, talk about the Lions and how they, the Bucks have been good, the Lions haven't. But these these two teams have split the last eight meetings. But uh, they don't play, even though they're in the same conference, haven't been playing as frequently. They, these teams used to be in the, I think they were in the same conference for many years back when Tampa was playing with uh, those other teams. But that was a long time ago. Tampa Bay has allowed just six touchdowns on uh, their last 41 uh, drives, so pretty decent numbers there. Uh, Talked about Mayfield. You know, they've they've been converting with him on third down. I think that's uh, certainly important. Buccaneers coming off the bye here, so they're rested as well. And uh, for the Lions, uh, interesting to note that all the games so far, oh, okay, great. Uh, Matt says they could be wearing the old, uh, uh, the old uh, orange uniforms out there today with uh, the, the uh, swashbuckling logo, you know, like eating the sword. What do they call it? Buccaneer Bob or Buccaneer Dan? What's his name? And uh, yeah, I mean, home dog here. Oh, don't be giving away the uh, secrets here necessarily. Boy, yeah. Uh, Blake moved, talking about the Titans here in this uh, drive. Boy, uh, they are moving down the field quite nicely. And Tannehill kind of taking a shot here, overthrown, but. Um, this clock's running pretty quick. I think I could give it away now. Uh, I think, and maybe you knew I'm on the under as my on as my premium play in the game from London right now. Uh, we went under 42. So, of course, I'm on the under. Especially, how did I go over in a London game last week? That was ridiculous. And uh, how did how did how did we end up on an over on uh, the on a couple of games yesterday where I, well, okay, here we go. Going to be on the uh, Buccaneers here. 
uh, in this one, feeling, you know, like the home, uh, NFL, I mean, I'm NFL home dog. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of support out there, but the Buccaneers do have some positive momentum going right now. And they have a very strong deep, pretty darn strong defense, I would think, in this one. Uh, Detroit, they've been just awesome. I could, if I read you off the, you know, the spread statistics, which many of you may already know, that uh, it'd be hard to want to go against them at this point. Detroit, twenty-seven and eleven, uh, with Campbell in their last thirty-eight games. Goff, good numbers. And uh, Darren, are you talking about uh, this game at 43 and a half? Or are you talking about the uh, London game we're watching right now? But uh, here in this one, of course, it is. A, I'm showing 40. I'm showing some 42 and a halfs out there here uh, at this point, actually. So don't want to tip my hand on the total. You know where I'm headed with it, probably. Oh, thanks. And the Titans game, sure. Yeah, and we're, you know, six and a half. I I see that Blake, he might be have a spoiler alert on me because uh, I'll let, you know, let you know where I am. But uh, um, the incompletion just happened in the end zone right now, and I'm on 619 left in the first half. So am I faster or slower? <laughs> That was almost a great catch. Actually, pretty decent coverage to make your contact right when the ball uh, happened there. I think that was pretty good. Pretty good play. But I'm going to take the uh, Buccaneers in this one. Uh, you know, with the points, I did want. I do want to make it clear because I was on. Bill says he he will go over uh, in the game between the Lions and the Buccaneers. You have some interesting notes here. I can pass along to you on that. As I see the tight almost, ooh, they're faced to where here with a, a fourth down and two. It looks like at the. Uh, I think you got to stay on the field. I mean, oh, they're going to kick it. All right. You know, we a lot of critics like we talk about Staley and everything, and you know going for it when you're at your own 35 late in the game or whatever, you know, even lower. But these are the situations I feel like, you know, when you talk about the new metrics and everything, and I know things are struggling for the Titans, so let's just get these three points and tie the game up here. And I'm okay with it too if I'm on a, uh, an under, you know, we're in the red zone, so we'll take three points out of it. But, you know, Right. Oh, trust your defense. No, that's where you punt because you're at the end of the game. So get away from your 25, your 35. But when you're in the first quarter and you need one or two yards, I have a defense, right? I'm protecting 97 yard or 80, 87 yards of carpet the other way. That's when I'm more apt to go for it, right? Because, hey, all we got to do is stop you. Even on one or two downs, we're going to get the ball, you know, at the, you know, 30, 35 and come try it again or maybe even have a great defensive possession as well but i get it especially if you're uh, uh the tight tell me blake am i wrong you know and why does uh, uh you know why is brable is wouldn't you categorize him you know he, he does take the kick a little bit too too frequently all right anyways i'll take the bucks but i just want to make it clear in case anybody's you know ramon uh, i was on a show this week uh, on another channel where I said it was a, a pool. It was a show to win your office pool. And I did pick Detroit in that one on this show. I am taking the Buccaneers. I, that just lets you know what I think of this game, right? I think that is that if anything, that's uh, clear that this game is going to come down to the wire and be decided by a field goal uh, one way or the other. I think since I feel that way, uh, I'm taking the points. But uh, the Lions, there's no doubt this has been an uh, exceptional, exceptional uh, situation. They've outscored their opponents in the first half, 82-23 to 23 in the last three games. But just take note of this. This is the first game out of the five games the Lions have played so far that they're going to be outdoors. Um, so, and on grass. So, um, 
you know, that shouldn't affect a great team like them at this point. And the funny thing is, you know, the Lions always get the money in Tampa, but usually they're a dog. So I'm taking the dog here. Home dog, NFL. Uh, I'm almost crossing off the names on the screen. <laughs> 